tonight remembering a fallen NYPD hero. Thousands gathered to say their final goodbyes to Officer Jonathan Diller today. The 31-year-old father was shot and killed during a traffic stop this week. Today, Diller was posthumously promoted to detective. His funeral was held at St. Rose of Lima Church in Massapequa. Bagpipes played as his casket was carried into the church with his family right behind him. And as CBS 2's Naveen Dhaliwal reports, his heartbroken widow found the courage to speak. A sea of blue. Grappling with the loss of Officer Jonathan Diller, his flag-draped coffin led into St. Rose of Lima Church. Very sad. Very sad. A tremendous show of support from law enforcement agencies across the tri-state. Sadness and sorrow overtook the sunshine as his widow, Stephanie, held their one-year-old son, Ryan, closely during a moving eulogy, her heartbreak raw. With every hug that I've received, I just picture each one is from Jonathan. Finding the strength, she told us about the man she fell in love with and married over four years ago. He could always make me laugh, and that was one of the things I love most about him. Calling him her best friend, closest confidant, the man whose family always came first. He was a fierce protector of everyone around him. He spoke his mind and wasn't afraid. And as fierce as he was, his heart would melt for his son. He was so proud of Ryan. Every time he did something new, it was like an explosion of joy from both of us. Officer Diller had been with the NYPD for three years, a job he loved, and he came from a family of first responders. We told him to go out there and make this city a better place to live, to work, and to raise a family. And that's exactly what he did. Until Monday, the 31-year-old was another to die in the line of duty. Even with the acknowledgement that he was shot, he fought and took the gun out of the hand of the person who would take his life. His widow recounting the words of Officer Rivera's widow two years ago when she spoke at her husband's funeral, advocating for more protection for police officers. Dominique Rivera stood in front of all the elected officials present today pleading for change. That change never came. And now my son will grow up without his father. I will grow old without my husband. During the service, NYPD Commissioner Caban promoted Officer Diller to detective and vowed to his family that the NYPD will stand behind them for life. In Massapequa Park, Naveen Dhaliwal, CBS 2 News. And the memory of Detective Diller shines bright in Times Square, where a billboard went up in his honor today. It says, rest in peace, end of watch, March 25th, with a photo of Diller and an American flag. The NYPD says the billboard celebrates Diller's life and is a show of support for his family. This morning, we carried Detective Diller's funeral live on our streaming channel, CBS News New York. You can also find our reporting on the investigation into his murder on our website, cbsnewyork.com.